Where you at, big nugget? Better come and defend that belt. You've obviously tried to make Tony and Khabib fight a few times. The guy who wins this fight will be the champion. The guy fell and tore his knee apart. Al Iaquinta wanted this fight badly. I don't think Tony Ferguson should have ever been stripped. Yeah. I think he should still be the interim champion. Ferguson comes back and destroys Anthony Pettis. Khabib, the Eagle, Nirvana Nana! The real smart money is on Tony Ferguson fighting Khabib next. Dana's been saying that. I also think that he is the toughest test for Khabib. He just never gets fucking tired. It doesn't even make sense. Tony Ferguson on paper to me is the most accomplished 155 pound fight in UFC history. You got Tony Ferg, who was the champ, who never got beat, but all of a sudden he's no longer the champ. I had an injury and I was stripped. Yeah. And after that performance against Pettis, I like, come on, man. He made it a colorful, bloody war for everybody. This is the time. Dana even said that he is most likely next in line for Khabib. He knows exactly what's up. What fight has been attempted to be made by a promoter this many times, and by the fifth time it's being discussed? It's more pressing than ever. He's pissed off. He used to be the champion, now he's not the champion. Tony Ferguson is the UFC interim lightweight champion of the world. Tony Ferguson's a fucking beast. Josh Thompson, Barboza, Vendata, Rafael Dos Santos, and Kevin Lee, and then Anthony Pettis in a row. Him coming back that fast, doing what he did, is I don't know how the fuck he's doing it. Tony figured out a way to hold on and survive. Tony competitively never lost that championship, so he should get a pick up right where he left off, which is a world title fight. Mati Siahu once said, king without a crown, right? That's Tony Ferguson. He's the king without a crown. So what happened to him in 2018 is heartbreaking. This guy should never have been stripped. He should never have lost his interim title. What a quick turnaround from being knee surgery to come back. I missed this for one year. Khabib Nurmagomedov is still the UFC lightweight champion. Khabib Nurmagomedov is the best 155 pounder in the world. He's not out here joking around. He is the best wrestler in the game. That guy smashes people. And by now you probably know that he submitted Conor McGregor via rear naked choke. Khabib's doing standard shit, but he's just doing it several notches past what everybody else is doing. See, there's Dagestani guys, and then there's Khabib. He is a scary level. You can slow down Khabib, but he ultimately gets his way. He's one step ahead all the time. This guy goes out there and absolutely hammers Edson Barboza. You said something during that fight that said it all. You said, look at the look. In Edson's face. Edson's face. Yeah. And I've had that look, and that's when you're getting chased by 18 people. He's so good at taking people down and mauling them. You know, that is the hardest thing to stop. It's just a nightmare. It's a complete nightmare. I am not sure I have ever seen an MMA grappler like Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, Khabib? Oh, he come to fight. This a uh, Russian bear? <laughs> this man is a cold-blooded killer. There's nobody who can push the pace in the same way. There's nobody with the ground control that he has. And he brought his game to life. He was smashing Conor McGregor in the second round. He got everything he could have wanted out of that. There could be no denying that you're one of the most dangerous men on the planet Earth. I'm undefeated all my career. A new UFC lightweight champion. How does this feel? He's essentially mauled every motherfucker they put in front of him. Unbeaten inside the octagon. Let's go, let's go. He's absolutely dominated every single opponent. Khabib Nurmagomedov, Tony Ferguson. He's the most dangerous guy at lightweight for Khabib. It's been a long, long year for me. I've been the champ. I am the champ. Yeah, these two knuckleheads over there making this sport look bad. I am the champ here. I don't need to have a belt up here to be the champ. Dana White spoke to ESPN about what's next for Khabib Nurmagomedov. I mean, as a fight fan, you got to go with Tony. Tony had the belt, tweaked his knee, got stripped. Tony never lost a belt in a fight. Tony deserves the next shot. It all comes to an end. That's a who the fuck knows fight. Next fight, what you want? I'm gonna say Tony Ferguson. He's a much better striker than we think he is, who possesses a lot more power than we think he does. We need to fight for the fifth time. We need to try this out again. Uh, Khabib wants it too, though. And you got all these people breaking it down on one side. And you got people making compelling arguments on the other side. The obvious strategy for Khabib is to try to take Tony down. And the obvious strategy for Tony is keep it up. Dot him up on his feet. He is the champ. I was the intern champ. Nobody wants to be trapped inside that cage with me. They don't want to get cut by my elbows. They don't want to get hit by any of my kicks. I'm a different animal than these guys. Khabib, remember, 
Sacramento. It's just when he gets guys on the ground, it's almost like he's a different weight class than them. Him versus Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson doesn't get tired, and Tony Ferguson can take a hell of a shot. He's going to need all of that to deal with that boogeyman from Dagestan, Russia. Tony's well, doing everything. Any wrong move on the ground, he could hit that darsh from any position. He's so unorthodox. His endurance is off the charts. Yeah. Impeccable. Who knows what he's going to do? He might step in and throw an upward elbow. And stand up, he's got legit knockout power. Khabib has been hurt coming in. By Michael Johnson. Yeah. It's the sliver of hope that every opponent clings to. They watch that one moment where Michael Johnson clipped him. They're like, look, look, he's human. Yeah. He could be hurt. <laughs> you have basically polar opposites. Khabib Nurmagomedov is a control-based fighter. Tony Ferguson is a scramble-based fighter. Just that clash in styles is going to be fascinating. I can't wait to shut your face with my hand. Nobody talking about Tony that. This is the time to make Khabib versus Tony. There's one fight to make for MMA. It is Habib Nurmagomedov, the UFC lightweight champion, defending his title against the guy who still, in my mind, is the interim lightweight champion. And these two guys have been on a collision course forever. But now is when it counts the most. Now is when it counts in a way that it never could have counted before. Now is not the time to do the easy, convenient thing that makes sense for one or two people and not the rest of the fan base. Now is the time to make that fight. Find a way to force it through. Destiny calls upon us. It calls upon this moment. Let us make this fight. Welcome back. That was incredible. Tony, the Nobody was going to take this time from me. I'm defeated pro MMA fighter. I'm not about to catch me. Woo! No matter what you say, Khabib's going to lose. See, don't get right. Show these guys what time is it. You're fat, you're slow, you're I'm going to knock you out. Just for you, I'm going to knock you out. I hope that same Khabib or somebody better than that shows up. Hopefully it finally is going to happen. What time is it? Snap down city. That's right. Fuck yeah. Now there's no vacant title. There is a clear winner. There's a guy who has defended it already. And another guy who was given an interim title but never really lost. Just lost the battle to injury and then came back. These two guys have been on a collision course potentially now five different times. It is the fight that you must make. The need to make this is even stronger now. The best fight you can make on paper, competitively speaking, is this one and frankly, all of mixed martial arts. You can say this about virtually no other fight ever. That's what you have here. My father teach me, hey, you have to be always respectful. I want to change this game. You guys have no idea the stuff that I went through. Tonight, I went in there and I did it lyrically. In my head, when I deserve something, I'll keep going after it. Winning the UFC belt's like climbing Mount Everest. You don't just walk up and climb straight to the top. You're gonna have things that are gonna happen, but that's what makes getting to the peak so amazing. It's something that very few people can do and it comes at a cost. Now is the time. We're in the end game now. It all comes to an end. I'm ready. I'm a dog catcher. 